this is my review on a movie called. I'm trying to get my seat. I'm trying to get in a seat first, so I sit and can focus. And I'm sorry, I forget what I'm reviewing. Uh, it's a movie, or I think it was. Oh, I I am trying to remember. I had it and I lost it. <laughs> this is my review on RoboCop Two. I give it an eight out of ten. It's as good as RoboCop Three. I mean, three. Robocop 3. It's as good as. But not as good as Robocop 1. Because Robocop 1's a 10 out of 10. It is awesome. Robocop 2 and 3, to me, get an 8 out of 10. And that's. This is going to be my review. Of review. I realize I'm starting to talk about all the Robocop movies. <sighs> or, or mentioning the Robocop movies. Well, I'm just supposed to be talking about Robocop 2. So yeah, Robocop 2... Get to 8 out of 10. This, this time, this, uh, you know, uh, the movie's pretty, uh, good in all in it, uh, pace well. Uh, and uh, it takes us uh, its time and and telling the story is so far so good, but then after a certain point, the movie it has a off tipping point of uh, when it loses has to lose its pacing. Yes, once they wipe and re reprogram RoboCop's uh, human brain, and uh, also put all a bunch of this other—I mean, not his human brain, his robot brain pot—and and this program was a bunch of uh, other stuff that he not really necessary, but this. Put it in there anyway. And that's when the movie turns into a, a more of a, com, a comedy. Intentionally, and because Robot is ta acting out of character. And then they, the, and then they found the MacGuffin problem. The dog that normally checks on him figures it out, and then uh, they do this. They, they, for, for some reason, I, I guess I thought it felt rushed once they got there. Once they, it felt all rushed to me. Uh, once, uh, once it gets to a certain point after this point here, and from there on out, the movie feels rushed, like, uh, so, Rohawk Cop has to zap himself with a bolt of electricity. And, and it works. Rohawk's back in action and goes to get King in his gang. Uh, who is the villain of his drug. Gang, uh. 
and Kang becomes Robocop 2. I kid you not, that's what they call him, Robocop 2, not Robocop 2.1, just Robocop 2, so creative. And because this person programmed use King's brain, that somehow that was a good idea because King's a junkie. And, uh, uh, basically, Murph Murphy, so you got a criminal brain in into robots, uh, body. Oh, great, and didn't think that would backfire. I didn't see that backfiring, uh, the person that came up with the idea in the movie and when we had was that, uh, didn't see that coming. Leaving the OG Robocop to, uh, Robocop Murphy needs to go, needs to basically go ahead and put King down because things are gotten out of hand with the new Robocop too. And the movie Robocop too. I know, it's confusing. The, the movie's called Robocop 2, and the Robocop 2 they use in this movie is called Robocop 2 for the new Robocop prototype. That failed because they couldn't replace Murphy as Robocop. And, uh... To me, this is as good as a story as Robocop 3. I mean, 3. Robocop 3 is as good as Robocop 2. In my eye. None of them are as good as Robocop 1. And that's my review on Robocop 2. If you like this video, hit the like button. That's the the, the thumbs up under on the, on the video, and hit the bell under the video. And the after hitting the subscribe under the video button, and that order, and just to get to subscribe. If you want to get subscribed, hit the bell. I mean, hit the subscribe, then hit the bell in that order. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button on the video. Okay. Hope you will enjoy my review on RoboCop 2. Bye.